Right, the first thing that you'll notice, we've got all our code in VB, the colours are different. All right? That's just because they've chosen to use different colours to represent different keywords. So, in Visual Basic, our comments, we started with an apostrophe and they're in green. If you look, and I probably didn't need to say it, you probably could pick this out. In Python, you put a hash tag, okay, the hash character, and you comment, and then it marks them in red. Okay, so that's the first real difference, that when you're writing comments, so when you do your comments for your Python program, don't be putting single quote apostrophes, otherwise it's not going to like it. Okay? It'll moan at you. Let me just do it. I'll just edit one of these and just put a... I can't know what the error message is. So I've done that. You might not actually moan it. Yeah. End of line while scanning string literal. So it's looking for the name of something and it didn't get told what to do with that. So it doesn't like it. So it just moans at you. So it's not a, a disaster. It'll just give you an error message. Funny how it went green. Right. Okay. That's because of the way that you can mark strings in Python. In Visual Basic, we tend to use double quotes. Python's a little looser. There's a few different ways in which you can do it. Okay. So that's the that's the main difference between how we write up extra information for our code. The next major difference, if you look at the Visual Basic thing here, I've created some constants. Remember, we create the constants because we give a nice name to a value. Yeah? So I could have used in my program 18.5, 24.9, and 29.9. But I decided that I would give them a name so that when I write my code and I'm reading my code back, it makes more sense. Rather than me wondering what the hell 18.9 is. But in Visual Basic, we have to say that this is a constant and we have to say what type of data it is. So we're saying that this can store fractions, a single. Okay. If you look at the same three things defined in Python, we don't use the word constant because really Python hasn't got constants. But I've used capital letters to like indicate to any other programmer that this are fixed values, don't really change them. Okay, so they're like made up constants, pseudo constants. But the key thing that's missing is I haven't had to say what type of data it is. And that's one thing you don't have to do in Python, it guesses based on what you store in it. So it, it will tell itself that, ah, you're storing numbers with decimals, and it'll decide that. So whenever I use this, it treats it as a number later on, okay? Whereas in Visual Basic, we have to actually, as a programmer, tell Visual Basic that we want to store real data, okay? Now, Global variables again, you can see I've had to set a type, so I've got two global variables, one for the weight that's going to be entered and the height that's going to be entered. Same in Python, okay? David, pay attention, that's on camera now and that's going to be on YouTube, so I want to the evidence, and don't be looking at your feet or your phone or whatever you're doing, you're neither looking at your screen or this, so yeah. you're not paying attention, David. Okay, so we never have to specify the types. So you won't ever see types. You'll see something like this later on, but that's how it works. Now, the next thing in the Visual Basic bit is this, a function that I've called get BMI value. So this does the calculation. This works out what the body mass index number is. And all that does, it takes a height value and a weight value, and it applies this formula, and that's just the formula for body mass index, okay? And then it works out what the answer to that is and returns it. In Python, exactly the same. We have a height and weight. Again, we don't have to put any types in. So everything looks more compact in Python. It's what you first will notice its own. It's shorter. It doesn't look as complicated. We do the calculation and we return. So those three lines look similar, apart from this. When we create a local variable in Python, we just put its name and say what we want to store in it. When we do it in Visual Basic, we have to say it's a local variable and it is storing that type of data. We don't have to worry about that in Python. Okay. 
So those two functions do the exact same thing. The next item here, this subroutine, get user attributes, that is just asking you to enter your height and your weight. Okay? They look a little bit different in Python and Visual Basic. It's a little bit messier to get input in Visual Basic. We have to say, okay, let's display a message to the user, then let's read in what they've typed at the keyboard, which is what console.readline does, and we'll store that in height. Okay? If you look at the Python bit, I'll come back to that bit, we just say height equals input and put the message on screen. So we can actually display a message on screen and get keyboard input in one go in Python, which is a bit neater. We can do it separate, but Python allows us to do that. In Visual Basic, it's got to be separate. What was that? <laughs> no. Okay. And then we've got here converting. So we have some text. When we type, it's text. So when we did it with a text box, Visual Basic did all the work. The text box was doing the work for us, converting it into a number. But when we do it in a console window, we have to do that ourselves. So we're saying, turn into a single this height thing that was a bit of text that the user typed, which we hope is a number. There's no error checking in here. All right, so if I type a load of rubbish in, it will crash, but we're not, that isn't what we're worrying about. And then we do the same for the weight. That looks similar in Python. So we're saying like, user h, turn the text that was typed in, that was stored in height, into a float. So that's the only time we've actually mentioned the type of data. Okay, so a float, which is what we call a real number, a float, a floating point value. And we do the same for the weight. Now, these we define globally in Visual Basic. The user W and user H, which I did up here, and they're global variables. In Python, Python doesn't like you using global variables, okay, although you can, and we just define them outside. So they're outside any of these functions, they're defined there, so they're definitely global. But in order to store values into those, we have to say in our subroutine, that's what we're going to do. We're going to access a global variable. So we have to use this keyword global. And you'll notice that a lot of the keywords come up in orange in Python. Okay? Not all of them, but some of them do. So we're saying like user W and user H, they are not part of this function, but I know they exist. Okay? So I'm going to store some data in there. So when you see that keyword, you know that you're messing about with a global variable. It's it's to force you to realise when you're writing Python that global variables are bad, I think. You can normally write everything without using global variables, but it actually becomes inefficient for certain things. Okay? Notice the other difference between these functions. At the end of a Visual Basic one, I have to say what type of data I'm going to return. Python, nothing. Don't have to say anything. Again, it just doesn't care about data types. I just say return. Notice you get these colons as well. They mark the end of certain lines. Okay, so you'll see colons. Don't worry about it, it just means, oh, that's the end of that. So that's saying that is the end of the name of this function. The following stuff just sits there and that is the definition. Can anyone spot another big difference between just looking at this function and this one? There's a massive big difference. Some of the Python does that a lot of other languages don't do. Go on, Jack. Yeah, can you see that? So this one's got, right, there's a, this is what I'm going to call my function. These are its parameter values. This is the code for it. There's the end of it. Notice, don't do that in Python. There's no end. There's no end of definition. Python assumes that if you've indented something, that that is the code that makes up that function. That's a massive difference. It actually can be quite confusing when you first start doing Python. Okay, so if something's indented, it is part of that. It's that block for that. Okay, we don't have to put any end markers, and that shortens Python as well. And it can make some things a little bit easier to read. So you'll see for this user attributes one, 
we just say, right, do these tasks that have been indented, and then that's the end of it. Okay, whereas in Visual Basic, it says end sub at the end. Okay, end sub, finish. This we just say, yeah, we're finished. We got to the end. There's no more indented lines there. Okay. Right, the last complex function, the one that does the decision making, is the decide BMI subcategory, which has a parameter that takes a single value, the BMI index, and you can see that the Python one does the same. And let's just scroll that along a little bit. And we want to display the index, so we write out something and we do math.round. That rounds it to two decimal places. Remember, we did that in the first program we wrote. Practically the same format for Python. Once you've learnt one programming language, it is easier to pick up other programming languages. Okay? So it looks nearly the same. Round, the value we want to display, how many decimal places. So that looks identical to the Visual Basic one. Then we've got the if block. So I've got if, then a decision, else, another decision, else, another decision, and so on. That looks practically identical in Python. We just use something called elif. Instead of putting else if, someone's gone, yeah, we know it's else if, let's just make it as short as possible. Okay? So they've just made that short. So it's the same thing as else if. The other thing you'll notice, we put then in Visual Basic. So we say if, da da da, then. In Python, we just put colon. Because someone's gone, yeah, all right, just put a colon, it's quicker. Okay? In some respects, a lot of things that Python does are there to make it easier for the programmer. Okay? Less traditional, it's gone like, okay, let's just rip it up a little bit. Why are we typing all these characters when we can just get away with putting a colon? Okay? Just try and keep it simple. And essentially, that's it. That, that's the real main differences with that program. Okay? Thank <laughs> you.